During this second lockdown, our nation has been called to prayer. Our Archbishops of Canterbury and York have asked all of us to join in praying fervently with all our hearts for everyone across the whole country in all different ways. We know that this is a dark and difficult time, even though today I've got blue skies and sunshine in November. But in our hearts, in our minds, in our spirits, we know that we need to encourage one another, to lift one another up. And there's no truer and most important way to do this than to pray with and for one another. St. Paul wrote to the Romans in their dark and difficult times, be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, and faithful in prayer. So during this reflection recording, we're just all going to pray the prayers that our whole nation have been invited to share. Daily prayers prayed by the individuals in Gainford who are doing this at four o'clock and then ringing a bell every day, Monday to Saturday. And then the other prayers that we are invited to pray for the family, for nations and for this week. So quieten down your hearts and let us pray. The prayer for this week, 16th of November. Loving Father God, be with us in our distress, be with our families, friends and neighbours, our country and our world. Give health to the sick, hope to the fearful, and comfort to the mourners. Give wisdom to our frontline and key workers, insight to our government, and patience to us all. Overcome disease with the power of your new life, through our Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Monday's theme, Colleges, Children and Young People. We pray for all those involved in shaping of young lives. We give thanks for the sacrifice and commitment of teachers and all those involved in serving children and young people in education. We pray that all might be nurtured and cared for and that every need for resource would be made available, that all lives can flourish even in these difficult times, and that no one would be overlooked. Amen. Our prayer for Tuesday is for the elderly, isolated and vulnerable. We echo God's commitment to those most at risk of this virus by praying today for those who are particularly vulnerable and isolated, praying for their deliverance, protection and comfort. We hold before God those who care for them, that they will be strengthened and encouraged in this work. Amen.
This is the prayer for Wednesday, for businesses, the workplace and economic well-being. In this time of great challenge, we pray for the economic well-being of the country. We remember before God those who face great uncertainty in their work. We lift before God those who have lost their jobs and face an uncertain and difficult future. We pray for a renewed commitment to our common life together. Amen. The prayer for Thursday is for the NHS and other key workers. Our God is the great healer, and the agent used more than any other is the NHS. Today, we voice our gratitude for those who serve this country in the National Health Service, and pray that God would prosper the work of their hands, that they would all be encouraged in their continued work of sacrifice and care amongst us. Amen. Our prayers for Friday are for national and local government. We pray for those who are in positions of authority with responsibility for decision making at national and local level at this difficult time. We ask that God would give great wisdom, deep commitment to all and right judgment. Amen. Saturday we pray for all who are grieving and all suffering with physical and mental ill health. Lord, the one you, you love is ill, we read in St John's Gospel. We bring to God all those who suffer in body, mind or spirit or with grief. We ask that in God's great loving kindness, they might know God's sustaining presence amidst their pain. We pray for those who are stretched beyond their own capacity to cope and remain hopeful that in the roar of these waterfalls, God would bring a sense of coherence, comfort and strength. Amen.
prayers for the nation. Lord Jesus Christ, in these dark and difficult days, we turn our hearts to you. In ages past, you have delivered our nation from disaster. Do it again, we pray. Give wisdom beyond human wisdom to our leaders. Give strength beyond human strength to the NHS and all our frontline workers. Give comfort beyond human comfort to children, the elderly and all who grieve. Lord Jesus Christ, in these dark and difficult days, turn your face towards us. Have mercy upon us and heal our land, we pray. Amen. Loving God, your Son, Jesus Christ, came that we might have life and have it abundantly. Pour out your blessing upon our nation. Where there is illness, bring your healing touch. Where there is fear, strengthen us with the knowledge of your presence. Where there is uncertainty, build us up in faith. Where there is dishonesty, lead us into truth. Where there is discord, may we know the harmony of, of your love. This we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Friends, St. Paul wrote in Ephesians chapter 6, Pray in the Spirit on all occasions, with all kinds of prayers and requests. With this be alert and always keep on praying for all the Lord's people. Well, that's what we've been doing today. And I encourage you to continue praying. Pray in faith. The Lord is faithful in his love and in his mercy. And so let us close this time with the Lord's Prayer.
Here is the wonderful truth. When we pray, we are communing with God, the Father of glory. What a privilege. What an enormous reality. Prayer is not speaking into thin air, but being with God. So in the current call for prayer for the nation, we are not stopping for five minutes at 6 p.m. each day to whistle in the wind. We are rather standing for our nation before the King of all creation. 